Hey everybody, it's Stacy and Greg with Keizu Keto and we are in weeks 61 and 62. I'm in weeks 61 and 62 for my keto journey. This is Carboholic Does Keto, me being the Carboholic, former Carboholic. So it's been 440 days for me. Wow, 440 days. It's an accomplishment. It is an accomplishment. Bit of a somber one today because uh, the coronavirus going around everywhere. Um, and we'll talk about that just a little bit. We promise not to overwhelm everyone with that. Um, but should we jump into our numbers? We should. We should always jump into our numbers first thing. All right. So we got them all written down here. Let's. Am I going first? You can go first this week. Hey, she's letting me go first. So my starting weight, uh, December 15th of 2018, was 371. Um, my weight in this morning was 235.4. Which I believe new is, uh, it is a new low, uh, and I had a little sickness. Probably helped out a little bit with that, but yeah, he had a few days where he didn't eat much of anything at all. No, had a little bit of a fever. Nothing major. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. Uh, my son had a cold or flu before all this epidemic stuff happened, but um, so and he was so kind to pass it on to everybody. It's what happens when you live in shared spaces. That's <laughs> why everybody has to stay home. Um, one, Stacy has it calculated as 132 pounds total, but it's actually 137. She just doesn't math very well. 136. I didn't change that. That's from the last one. So oh, okay. 137. 100, okay. So it's 136 pounds total Sorry. loss. It's okay. I don't hold it against we'll you forever. that. Oh, thank goodness. Seven. Yeah. I mean, it's six, but it's seven. Whatever. You said 137. Well, if you do the math. 371 minus 235 is 136.3. I didn't, I didn't do the mask, but math. I asked you for okay. the numbers. All right. So there you have it. Um, my uh, blood pressure, we also check our blood pressure uh, every morning. Mine was 124 over 73. My glucose this morning was 82. And my ketones were up to 1.7. So I have lost... Pretty good. Yeah, I've lost um, four pounds, I think, since the last one of these. Mm -hmm. I think so. I think I was at 239 something. So four pounds yeah. since the last. So two weeks I've lost four pounds. So it's pretty good. Like I said, sickness probably contributed a little bit to that. I'm going to give two pounds of that, but <coughs> I've been eating, not eating a whole lot and my body kind of doing, doing its thing. But overall feeling good. Uh, a little bit of a sniffle still, but just a cold. And I started January 1st, 2019, 2019 at 293. Weighed in today at my new lowest is 201.8. So it's 92 pounds lost total since I started. That is my new low, by nice. the way, the 201.8. And I haven't been that weight since sometime before Morgan was born. So it's been probably almost 15 years. Nice. So my conservative guess of being in a wonderland by the end of March is still on track. And uh, yeah, I think my stuff that I have going on is just seasonal allergy. I think crap. that's what mine started too, yeah. Because I have throat stuff and ear stuff and I remember having this this time last year. So it's fun. Fun stuff. Um, so then my blood pressure this morning was 109 over 65. So it's slightly higher than what it has been, but it's still in a really good range. So I'm not worried about it. Ketones are up to 1.1. I think that is because I've consciously been trying to incorporate a little more fat lately. I've been doing a lot more um, of the avocado mash. And I made some fat bombs that are the bomb. Not my recipe, but they're really good. Um... We could probably do a video on it if you're interested. They're peanut butter chocolate chip cookie dough fat bombs. And then my glucose today was 84. So not bad after spending the day yesterday making a lot of recipes. Right. We'll talk about more of that soon. But So what's our total numbers? Our total numbers now um, for weight loss between the two of us is 228 pounds. Awesome. So we do inches. We measure inches uh, once a month. So we're at that halfway point for that. Um, but the last time inches measured were, what, 94.1 lost? 94.1, yep. So yep. This, this is yeah, 14 and a half months. You know, with all this stuff going on, we haven't been doing a whole lot. We haven't been venturing out. Um, my company had a, a, an all-company meeting in Madison, Wisconsin last week, which I luckily did not go to. Um, so I worked from home all week because the company itself was basically closed. 
So in order to not get behind, those of us that did not go worked regular hours. And when I say regular hours, I mean regular hours, not my part-time. I did work pretty much full-time all last week yep. and most of the week before. Not sure where things are going with that yet, <laughs> yeah. but really hoping that um, they are going to do the work from home for the next couple of weeks because we have not left the house since Wednesday night. It is Sunday morning. Yep. Really don't want to, don't want to be part of it. Don't want to spread it. Don't want to be responsible for anything. Yep. Yeah, so social distancing, uh, something we've canceled a few plans, just mm -hmm. trying to be cautious and mindful of those people that could be more uh, susceptible susceptible and, and impacted by this. So, which is hard, you know, with the children because they don't quite get it. Uh, I think yeah. I think one of them does. I think the other two are, the other one's like, yeah, okay, whatever you say, dad. And the other one is like, no, no, we need to go, blah, blah, blah. It's like, look, you're not going to be in school for three weeks technically four weeks because of spring break. It's mm -hmm. not just the holiday, guys. Like, there's reasons that they would do this. It's not just so that you guys can have a good time. So, yeah, I mean, there's no reason to panic. There's no reason to be concerned, but you do need to be planning and being cautious and helping out those who can help themselves. Um, mm -hmm. I was really cool. There's a, a post and there's like a, I think it's called Next Door where mm -hmm. some people had put it's posts up yeah some people had put posts up saying hey you know for you that are more susceptible to these types of things um let us get your groceries for you so i uh, thought that was amazing um i would be doing it too if i didn't already have what would some people would consider symptoms so yeah. so yeah so it's awesome i love it when i see people come together in these types of situations to really mm -hmm. help each other out yep that's it's kind of kind of crazy because as you guys know i do the instacart and instacart mm -hmm. has gone to all on demand um so you don't get to pick any hours anymore and they did that mid-february and i haven't gotten a ping since thursday yeah at the latest i think it might be wednesday actually but it might have been there might have been something thursday i just can't remember but yeah so we're just we're just trying to do our part in not spreading and we're staying home and we're occupying mm -hmm. our time at home which has given us more time to do nothing <laughs> and it's been great <laughs> well not nothing we made a bunch of videos yesterday so that should be coming yeah, out over the course we of were the weeks messing with some recipes yesterday and made We've some videos on those figured out a couple ways to play board games remotely with some of our friends yep. so that's cool yep. um and we've also been spending some much needed downtime just yeah. in front of the TV. Yeah, just kind of chilling. We got uh, all of everybody's recommendations from yep. you know friends, family, you guys on on the the comments and other places, and we watched um, the show Magicians. No, we're watching Magi the Magicians on Netflix. Yep. Just finished season one. Yeah, we watched the boys. There's only one season of that on Amazon, and I will tell you, it's good, but it's, it's a little graphic, gruesome. Yeah. So if you have there's yeah there's a few times I not your standard away. superhero side of movies <laughs> had to look away a few times yeah. it was not ugh. yeah it was pretty bloody but i think i had to do that didn't i just have to do that in the magicians too there was one there's scene, one spot yeah and i was like can't nope <laughs> a, ra a, rab a rabbit bit it and stacy couldn't handle it no it was it was ugh. so yeah all kinds of fun. So that's pretty much it for us. That's yeah. what we're doing. That's um, what we're going to continue to do. We're going to keep testing some recipes, putting out some more stuff. I do have a new chaffle recipe. I know I teased about that a few weeks ago. But we hadn't had a chance to make it again and shoot it. So we're going to do that soon. Yep. Yep. I'll be working from home for the near future. Hopefully within the next couple of days, the kids will have some school stuff they can actually do. So they're not just sitting there playing video games with their friends. So. Or driving us nuts. Yeah. Well, just one of them does that. <laughs> How are you guys spending your social distancing time? Um, what are your experiences? What's your thoughts? Let us know. We care. All right. Well, I think that concludes this episode of Carbocolic Does Keto, guys. Thanks for tuning in with us. Thanks for all your support. We really do appreciate it. And even in the midst of a pandemic, make sure you stay healthy and keto. See you guys.